In the vast expanse of the world's oceans, two naval powerhouses stand tall. The USS Ali Burke and the INS Visakhapatnam class destroyers. Born out of the relentless pursuit of technological advancement, these two behemoths of the sea represent the pinnacle of naval warfare in the United States and India, respectively. The USS Arleigh Burke, named after Admiral Arleigh A. Burke, is a class of guided missile destroyers that has been in service with the US Navy since the early 90s. It is equipped with some of the most advanced weapon systems in the world. Across the globe, the INS Visakhapatnam class destroyers are the latest addition to the Indian Navy's fleet. These state-of-the-art warships are an embodiment of India's growing naval prowess. Both these vessels play a vital role in the strategic objectives of their respective navies, from maintaining sea control to deterrence and power projection. Now, let's delve deeper into these two maritime marvels. A first up, we have the USS Arleigh Burke, a tour de force of American naval engineering. This class of guided missile destroyers, named after the US Navy's Admiral Arleigh Burke, is a symbol of power and precision, and a testament to the United States' commitment to maintaining maritime supremacy. The USS Arleigh Burke boasts an impressive array of weaponry. From the Mark 41 vertical launching system that can house and deploy a mix of anti-air, anti-submarine and land attack missiles, to the 5-inch rapid-fire deck guns and the Phalanx close-in weapon system for last-ditch defense against airborne threats, it's clear that this destroyer is equipped to handle a range of combat scenarios. But what's a destroyer without its propulsion systems? The USS Arleigh Burke employs four gas turbines, driving two shafts that can generate over 100,000 horsepower. This allows it to reach speeds in excess of 30 knots, making it a swift and agile component of the naval fleet. And let's not forget about the destroyer's eyes and ears, its radar capabilities. The USS Arleigh Burke is outfitted with the an spy one d radar, an advanced, multifunction, phased array radar system. This allows the ship to track hundreds of targets simultaneously, providing a comprehensive picture of the maritime battlefield. In terms of defensive measures, the USS Arleigh Burke is equally impressive. It's equipped with the Aegis Combat System, an integrated naval weapon system that uses powerful computer and radar technology to track and guide weapons to destroy enemy targets. The ship's hull is also designed to withstand significant damage. With a steel superstructure covered in layers of Kevlar, the USS Arleigh Burke is built to take a punch and keep on fighting. In essence, the USS Arleigh Burke is a floating fortress, a powerhouse of firepower, speed and resilience. It's a ship that's as bold and unyielding as the man it's named after. The USS Arleigh Burke, indeed, is a testament to the might of the US Navy. Next, we turn our attention to the INS Visakhapatnam class destroyers, the pride of the Indian Navy. These state-of-the-art warships represent a significant leap forward in India's naval capabilities. The Visakhapatnam class destroyers are equipped with an impressive array of armaments, they sport a main gun of 130 mm and are armed with 16 Brahmos anti-ship missiles, which are considered some of the fastest in the world. These missiles can reach speeds of up to Mark III, making them a formidable threat to any adversary. The ships also carry Barak-8 long-range surface-to-air missiles, which provide them with an excellent defensive capability against airborne threats but the armaments are just the tip of the iceberg. What truly sets the Visakhapatnam class destroyers apart is their advanced propulsion system. The ships are powered by four gas turbines in a combined gas and gas configuration. This setup allows them to reach top speeds of over 30 knots, making them one of the fastest ships in the Indian Navy. The radar systems of these ships are equally impressive. They feature the MF Star, a multifunction active electronically scanned array radar. This advanced system can simultaneously track hundreds of targets in the air and on the sea, giving the ship a comprehensive picture of the battlefield. 
The radar also provides guidance for the Barak-8 missiles, making it a crucial component of the ship's defensive systems. Additionally, these destroyers are equipped with advanced stealth features designed to reduce their radar cross-section. This makes them harder to detect and track, further enhancing their survivability. And let's not forget about the crew. Each Visa Kapatnam class destroyer can accommodate over 300 officers and sailors. These men and women are the heart and soul of these ships, operating and maintaining the complex systems that make these warships the formidable force they are. The INS Visa Kapatnam class destroyers truly symbolize the rising prowess of the Indian Navy. They are a testament to India's growing naval capabilities and a symbol of the nation's commitment to maintaining peace and security in the region. With the technical specifications on the table, it's time to compare these two naval juggernauts. To begin with, both the USS Arleigh Burke and the INS Visa Kapatnam class destroyers are renowned for their firepower. The Arleigh Burke boasts a formidable array of Tomahawk cruise missiles, Standard Missile 3S, and an ASROC anti-submarine warfare system. On the other hand, the Visa Kapatnam class destroyer carries a mix of BrahMos supersonic cruise missiles and Barak-8 long-range surface-to-air missiles, making it a serious contender on the seas. Next, let's talk speed. The Arleigh Burke, powered by four gas turbines, can sprint up to 30 plus knots. The Visa Kapatnam class destroyer, with its twin shaft combined gas and gas propulsion system, is no slouch either, matching the Arleigh Burke knot for knot. These ships are not just powerful, but agile too, proving that in naval warfare, speed is as crucial as firepower. As for technological advancements, the Arleigh Burke is equipped with the state-of-the-art Aegis Combat System, an integrated naval weapons system which provides it with advanced radar capabilities and missile guidance. The Visa Kapatnam class destroyer, while not having an equivalent to Aegis, does have an advanced multifunction surveillance threat alert radar system providing it with excellent detection and tracking capabilities. In terms of defensive capabilities, both ships are well armored and equipped with advanced defense systems. The Arleigh Burke is fitted with the Phalanx Close-In Weapon System, a rapid-fire, computer-controlled radar and 20 mm Gatling gun system. The Visa Kapatnam class destroyer, on the other hand, boasts of a layered defense approach with the Barak-8 missiles providing long-range air defense and AK-630 close-in weapon systems for short-range threats. In conclusion, while the USS Arleigh Burke and the INS Visa Kapatnam class destroyers have their differences, they are both top-class destroyers equipped with cutting-edge technology and lethal firepower. It's interesting to observe how different countries, with their unique strategic needs and technological capabilities, design their warships. While both ships have their unique strengths, they share a common purpose, to protect and serve their nations. Destroyers are more than just impressive feats of engineering. They play a crucial role in naval warfare. These vessels, like the USS Arleigh Burke and the INS Visa Kapatnam class destroyers, are the backbone of many modern navies. They represent the perfect balance between speed, firepower and versatility making them a force to be reckoned with on the high seas. Their primary role is to escort and protect larger vessels in a fleet or battle group from threats such as submarines, aircraft and other surface vessels. With advanced radar systems, sonar equipment and an array of weaponry, they are equipped to handle a variety of threats. The USS Arleigh Burke, for instance, is fitted with an Aegis combat system an integrated naval weapon system which uses powerful computer and radar technology to track and guide weapons to destroy enemy targets, making it a formidable guardian. On the other hand, the INS Visakhapatnam class destroyers of the Indian Navy with their BrahMos supersonic cruise missiles and Barak-8 long-range surface-to-air missiles pack a serious punch against any adversary, ensuring that any hostile force thinks twice before engaging. Destroyers also play a significant role in offensive operations. Their speed and maneuverability, coupled with their heavy armament, 
make them ideal for hit-and-run tactics or for leading an assault on enemy positions. Moreover, in an age where information is as crucial as firepower, destroyers serve as vital elements in network-centric warfare. Their advanced communication systems allow them to serve as command and control centers, coordinating the actions of a naval task force and providing a real-time picture of the battlefield. In addition, they are often deployed for peacekeeping missions, anti-piracy operations and humanitarian aid, showcasing their versatility beyond combat. The value of these ships is immeasurable, their presence alone often enough to deter potential threats. But even more than that, they symbolize a nation's commitment to maintaining peace and security on the world's oceans. Their imposing silhouettes on the horizon, a clear message to any potential adversary. Tread carefully, for you tread on the might of our Navy, the USS Arleigh Burke and the INS Visakhapatnam class destroyers represent the pinnacle of naval engineering in their respective countries. As we've journeyed through the intricate details of these magnificent vessels, we've seen the similarities and differences that make each unique. The USS Arleigh Burke, a symbol of American naval prowess, showcases advanced technology and superior firepower, while the INS Visakhapatnam class destroyer, a testament to India's growing naval strength, combines modern design and strategic capabilities. Each destroyer, in its own right, is a marvel of engineering, showcasing the best of what their nations have to offer. In the grand chessboard of naval warfare, these destroyers play a pivotal role. They safeguard their nation's interests, patrol vast expanses of sea, and stand as deterrents against any potential threats. The lessons learned and insights gained from studying these vessels are invaluable. India can certainly imbibe from the US's experience while charting its own path. These destroyers, while from different nations, share a common goal to ensure the safety and security of their homelands.